All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So it's time to give you a full review of the Moto Z2 Force. Now, this is a phone that I've been using probably for almost 30 days uh, straight, and it has been absolutely joy to use. To my surprise, um, I, I kind of ragged on this phone at the beginning of the year or whenever it first launched for that price of like almost 800 I was like, no way. Uh, and even to this day, I still don't feel like I would pay 800 for this phone. Uh, the fact that I got it for $300, that alone is totally makes this a super deal for me. Now, let's start with the design of this phone. Um, this design is extremely eclectic. It's one in its own. This is one of the thinnest phones in the world. Uh, it is six millimeters, I believe it is. That is super thin, just crazy thin. Uh, you've got this big camera hump back here. It doesn't really bother me too much because I can either put it in my case uh, or I can put my Moto Mod on and that eliminates that. But around the house, if you guys know, maybe by now, you know I don't really wear cases around the house. And so that right there doesn't really bother me at all. But again, you have this thin design, thin frame, which is a very strong frame too, by the way. You, you, it'll be hard to break this device. You've got a ridged power button right there. You've got your volume rockers. Now, uh, uh, this area right here, I wish it was down a little bit further. And then that's what I have to say about that. The design of this phone, this lunar gray is actually exclusive to T-Mobile and Verizon has the black version exclusive to them. Uh, you do have the pins back here and connectors for the Moto Mods. We'll get into that later. You've got a SIM tray and SD card slot that doubles here with microphone on top as well. Uh, and on this side here, you've got your Type C and that's it. You've got a microphone down front down here. You've got a front facing camera here. Uh, and you've also got a dual tone LED flash on the front as well. Uh, now that the, the rear cameras are two 12 megapixel cameras and the front is a five megapixel uh, wide, angle, wide angle camera as well. Uh, this phone can record in uh, 4K. I'll get into that later, though. As far as the, the design of this phone, this is a stunning design. There's no getting around how beautiful this phone is. Uh, I love the, the way it looks, just the way they put this together. I like the Moto Z, uh, the original Moto Z, so I knew I would probably love this phone. Um, the One of the main features of this phone from Motorola is a shatterproof screen. Now, again, I've said in other videos, and I took you guys' advice, I put a tempered glass on here immediately after buying it because it may be shatterproof, but it'll scratch really easy. So I actually haven't had any problems with my screen uh, and I don't anticipate having any problems. I've got two tempered glass, uh, just in case something were to happen to this phone, I had to do like a warranty exchange or something. Uh, this is a speaking glass, by the way, and I've already done what's on my Moto Z2 Force. So check that video out if you haven't already, but this is a speaking glass and it is absolutely, uh, it came from the recommendation of my Project 13. And I absolutely am happy that I spent that 10 bucks or whatever I bought it for. I forgot what it was, but you get two of them. Uh, so that is good. So again, the design of this phone is fantastic to me. And I think that's uh, very important. A beautiful looking phone is important to me. Now features and options. So this has modal gestures and modal. Um, and at first I want to talk about the features and then options are obvious, obviously going to be um, uh, the uh, modal mods, but you've got your modal actions here tons of actions here. You've got one button navigation, which I still haven't gotten used to. I've tried that a bunch of times. I still can't get used to it. You've got the chop to uh, twice the flashlight, twist for a quick capture, which you twist it like that and it'll turn the phone's camera on. You can do the shrink gesture, swipe down from the left to the right. Uh, th these are just all the gestures here, man. I mean, there are so many gestures you go to and then you've got your modal display. You can use the nighttime or you've got that modal display. You can get your notifications. I love that. And you've got your modal voice. Um, this phone is uh, done It's done right. I think they did a good job with putting this phone together with modal gestures. Modal gestures are important to me because one of the main two features I use is obviously the camera and the chopping to put the camera or the light on in the back. Now, as far as options goes, as far as features and options, this is a stock Android device. Um, so as far as software goes, not much going on with the software because uh, it's basically stock, but um, the Moto Mods are something that, and I will give you another video on the Moto Projector once I get that in. It should be here this week sometime, I believe. Uh, it's coming two-day FedEx, so I'll have that uh, soon. Uh, but this is the current, one of the mods that I have is a battery mod, and just being able to put mods on here is just, it's one in its own. If I didn't want to wear a case, uh, period, I could just go ahead and put on my battery mod. 
uh, or my projector mod if I really wanted to walk around like that and uh, have it on here. So features and options, this, this phone has a lot of options for add-ons and then it has a lot of features within the software as far as Moto goes uh, to make it better. Now the screen on here is just like any other of the flagships. It's a quad HD display, 1440 by 2560, which gives you the 16 by nine ratio and it gives you 534 pixels per inch. Uh, for the person out there who's interested in that, 5.5 inches. It's a P-OLED capacitive display, so it's really good. Um, it's a beautiful display. I have a black wallpaper on here at the moment. This is kind of one of my favorite wallpapers uh, that I usually put on here. I don't know how they got down there. Uh, but, you know, this is, this is what it is. And this is how I pr pretty much keep it set up for the most part. Uh, no problems with the screen. It is a beautiful display. Uh, if I wanted to change the display's wallpaper... Um, this is the one that comes stock with it. And it is a vibrant, punchy display. That's it. Um, but let's put it back to uh, the way that I like it here. Where's mine at? Well, I'll get to it later. Uh, so next is the cameras. So I'll take a second and I'll go ahead and record some footage right now. And then, um, you know, I've tested these cameras before and they're uh, they're really good. The 1080p at 60 frames per second is really, really good. Uh, and I'll go ahead and show you that now. And you can, uh, I, I, I like the cameras. And so let's take a look at them. All right, so here's a quick video sample from the rear camera on the Moto Z2 Force. Uh, this camera is absolutely stunning. And I think for the what I paid for it and what it's offering, this is absolute. look at how good this footage is. The color representation of this case is 100% accurate. This phone has really good cameras when it needs to work, and it is just fantastic. So I just wanted to grab some things here and show you the rear camera of the Moto Z2 Force. Look at the detail and clarity. Look at the blurred background. I'm just holding the phone. It's not on a tripod or anything. Um, check this out. So there's the cameras. Uh, performance wise, again, this is stock Android. And so you're not going to get uh, anything better than stock Android when it comes to a motor device. I'm glad they don't have a skin on here. And I'm happy that uh, this is the route that they chose to go. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not much to that. There's not a lot of stuff. The Moto software adds the functionality to this phone. But other than that, it's, a, it's, it's uh, not a feature packed phone for software items. But that's good, though, because that helps. Um, with uh, the performance and the software to go together, that helps with battery because the battery inside of this phone is only 2,730 milliamps and it is fantastic, believe it or not. Optimization plays a huge part in how your phone is gonna perform and Motorola did it right with this device. Uh, they dropped the battery down as a lot of people said, oh my gosh, they dropped it from 3,000 or 3,500, whatever it was before and I'm not buying it, it's gonna suck. In reality, this battery on this phone, and for those that have this phone, um, some of them can probably vouch and say, hey, you know what, I do have the phone, it's actually really good on battery. This phone actually does last you all day. And you have turbo charging too, if that's something that you're into, to where you know you can um, charge up 15 minutes and get a lot of battery out of this phone. So with that being said, the last thing I want to talk about is the price. Uh, the price of this phone, uh, I got mine for 300, it currently sells for 375 at T-Mobile. Um, you can uh, get it. I think other. I don't think Sprint sells it, uh, but Verizon has it on sale, and then you can also buy it directly from Motorola. But if you buy it directly from Motorola, I would suggest don't get it from Motorola because it's still like seven hundred plus dollars. So, you know, that's just what it is. So I think this phone is a win-win. I recently named this phone uh, my phone of the year, and a lot of people said, "Oh my gosh, there's no way it's not better than the Note Eight. It's not better than the U11. It's not better than the Essential. It's not better than the iPhone." All of you guys did not pay attention to that video. You really didn't. You, I think you were so busy focusing on what you like, and you didn't hear this is what I like. 
this to me is the phone of the year for 2017. I mean, everybody's not saying that the Note 8 and the uh, iPhone 8 and X and all these phones are the best phones of the year. I mean, you guys got to consider, you know, you're paying $1,000 for something that if you drop it one or two times, it's, it's shattered. It's good. It's gone. But a phone like this, that was another thing that attracted me to this phone too, the shatterproof. You know, the screen is, you can't break it and the, the body itself is really strong. I watched uh, a video on someone trying to tear this phone apart and it was pretty tough. They really couldn't do it. Uh, but that's something that's important to me because I don't like to wear cases. So you got to remember when you're watching a video, it's the viewers, it's the, the reviewer's point of view. I know you guys agree with some things and you might not agree with most things, but it's okay to voice your opinion. But you really can't tell me that this is not the phone of the year for me. That's just silly. If you think the Note 8 is the phone of the year, or you think the U11 is the phone of the year, whichever phone that you're holding, I'm happy for you. But for right now in 2017, this phone checked a lot of boxes for me. And um, I've broken my share of iPhones. I've broken my share of other phones. Uh, and it's just not something I want to go through for a while. So um, I just ask that you watch the videos with a little bit more open mind and don't be so narrow minded when it comes to these reviews and be a little bit more real realistic when you're watching a YouTube video. So your man J. Will, phone of the year for me. Um, it's definitely a boss. I can't beat this deal. Yeah, this is great. And some of you asked uh, real briefly why this phone didn't make it in and why the Pixel didn't. Well, for one, I haven't had this phone long enough, even though this is my one of my daily drivers. Um, I haven't had it long enough to put it into the rankings for me. And, you know, I didn't want to uh, put it above some other phones, you know, and that's just what it was. But full review for the Moto Z2 Force. This is a real nice phone here. Before you crap all over it and, and say one thing, you should try it for a month or two. I think you'd be really happy with it. And I think price boils down to a lot of things for people. If you guys weren't able to get a deal on the Note 8, uh, you wouldn't brag about it so much being such a great phone because that phone is a thousand bucks and no phone is worth a thousand bucks. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.